Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Durambaros, is it? Yes, Mr. Durambaros. And you are here for... I would like to apply for a promotion to Elder Dragon status. Elder Dragon status? But it says here that you're a Brute Wyvern. While, yes, my shape may ring some bells, I have lived an incredibly long time. And I am the only monster in existence that has mastered the art of flying without having wings. Well, I can't really disagree with any of that logic. Hello, my fellow hunters, elder dragons. When I was younger, I would walk straight through that barricade. Well, no, but yes, but no, what I am trying to talk about today is... The diversity of them, the sweet, sweet diversity, from lightning ponies to classic dragons to moving mountains, tentacle gods of multiple kinds, full-on literal whales, giant ass snakes, there is a lot in the world of, oh my god, it's so powerful and we have no idea what it is! Call it an elder dragon! It's an elder dragon! But I do posit the point that perhaps not diverse enough because there are a few categories of wyvern that I think it's a damn shame, somewhat criminal, that they have not got an elder dragon in their ranks. Like, for example, why is there no brute wyvern elder dragon? And you might at that point be like, Hold up! Wait a minute! If it was a elder dragon, then it wouldn't be a brute wyvern, you moron! Well, technically, what I mean is that, for example, if you take Najarala, a snake wyvern, okay? You see it snaky, the few extra limbs coming off it, it's got its clawy hands, it's a snake wyvern, a snake wyvern. You get it? A snake wyvern. I really like saying snake wyvern. Gotta get me that snake wyvern, see? No, okay, look, the point is, snake wyvern. <laughs> I really should maybe script at some point in my life. Nah. And then we take something like Dalamadur, and that is an elder dragon. But when I tell you that Dalamadur is also, let's be honest here, a snake wyvern, are you gonna disagree? Are you gonna be like, Psh, no, obviously it's not. It just has the exact same body structure. Oh, this is what I'm getting at. So let's put it another way. A master of the skies, wise storm dragon, your demise, pleasure to meet you. Is an elder dragon, but let's also be real here. It's a leviathan. It has the leviathan skeleton. It's got the moves like a leviathan, snaky through the air. Okay, let's keep going. For example, I don't know, Kulf Taroth, an elder dragon, but quite clearly also a fanged wyvern, very much the Jagras look. This kind of goes on and on as you go through the elders. So, yes, well, there is your typical elder dragon form, or at least the most common, the four legs, two wings, you know, the dragony dragon. There is very much evidence of elder dragon classified and power creatures that still, on an anatomical level, belong to, well, an established wyvern category. Dalamadur is a snake wyvern. Kulturoth is a fanged beast. Amatsu is a leviathan. Now, of course, with elder dragons, you get very much unique ones that don't belong to any kind of shape, like your Yamasukami, and it's so weirdly human mouth. No, 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 no. So while yes, being completely alien in form compared to any other known creature gets you lumped in with Elder Dragon, this is why Nakakos is one, you can also have just the sheer apocalyptic walking natural disasters level of power too. Because that's why something like Dalamadur is an Elder Dragon and not a Snake Wyvern, because it's bloody big and bloody strong, despite having a very almost identical build, makeup, and structure within its body as the much smaller and less threatening Najarala. So, I realise I'm kind of harping on about this more and more and more, but the essential TLDR point is there is nothing stopping something having the Brute Wyvern look, no wings, two legs, rawr, I'm a dinosaur, but being an elder dragon. 
Because to me, if you look at something like Raging Brachydios, okay, it of course is just a brute wyvern, but it is Elder Dragon level powerful. But if you gave his moveset, right, zone wide explosion waves, his finale locking you in, turning the entire battlefield into this dance of don't step on the goo, right? It's epic and huge and eclectic and intense and oh my god, you gave that exact moveset to a different random monster, maybe something with the four legs and two wings, you would be like, yep, that's an Elder Dragon level of ability right there, that's Elder Dragon power, that is, whoa, that is doing it. So this is what I'm saying, you could give a Brute Wyvern the kind of physical form that makes it just that little bit different, but still very much two legs, no wings, you could give it that kind of onslaught of strength that Elder Dragons produce, and lo and behold, we have Elder Dragon with the Brute Wyvern Skeleton, and that right there would be fucking awesome! Would it not? Which I realize, you know, making a whole video designed around, imagine a really powerful Brute Wyvern classified as an Elder Dragon, wouldn't that be cool? Alright, like and subscribe, my work here is done! No, alright, look, what I want to really dig into though is it almost happened. It genuinely almost happened. Behold! This was a early concept for Nergigante, and yes, they gave wings to a brute wyvern, and yes, he looks kinda spiky and devil Joey, but look at that thing! Would that not be ridiculous to fight, watching it flap and try and take off as it hunts you down with its spines? I mean, how would a brute wyvern even fly through the air with any kind of grace? It's probably a good job that they didn't end up going with this, but I would still take it, and how exciting does that look as a prospect? to fight. Something with that frame and way of moving, but translated into that echelon of strength, that level of intensity of fight, would be so, so much fun. And of course, we can continue this trend and have other skeletons that you could very much have an Elder Dragon version of. You could say the insects, but the thing is, you look at Atalkar and really, eh, hey, that is Elder Dragon level. You could easily have classified Atalkar as an Elder Dragon. You really, really could. Honestly, it surprises me that it didn't happen. It's very much unlike anything else, but because it's a bug, they kind of just, well, made it a bug. And it seems kind of inconsistent in that respect, because why didn't Delmadur get made a Snake Wyvern? Why didn't Kulvsaroth get made a Fang Beast? Honestly, I think she could have been. She's, she's powerful. Powerful and impressive, of course, but, you know, there are definitely, well, a lot of non-Elder Dragons with more impact than she does in her move-to-move -move attacks. But, again, I kind of digress. Insects are definitely an interesting one, and I think what would be really fun is to give an insect monster, Neopterin, a flagship focus. I would adore if in Monster Hunter 6 or World 2 or however they do it, the flagship is a insectoid Elder Dragon. Dragon. A weird form of limbs and claws and chattering teeth that is classified as an Elder Dragon has that ridiculousness going for it, a moveset unlike anything we've ever seen, and that would be a perfect way for them to put in a starring role, front and centre, look, we've got all the weird skeletons back, come on down, because they need to. If we go a whole other Monster Hunter game without the weird and wonderful skeletons coming back, that's going to be a serious letdown, honestly kind of a problem, so imagine them getting a Elder Dragon Insect and making that the front and center focus. Hell, again, you could have a Flying Wyvern Elder Dragon. You don't need to have the four legs, you could create the normal two legs, two wings, look and make it something really colossally powerful. And to be fair, as much as I do think Frontier is incredibly over the top and kind of lose all even attempt at making them seem like living, breathable, believable, breathable? Oh, I wanna breathe in me some monster! Living, breathing, almost could spring to life monsters, but anyway, I digress. One thing I will give them is they have done plenty of, well, these types of wyverns, given them the kind of raw fury that you could actually have in Elder Dragon form, that would match an Elder Dragon, honestly, both in visuals and in actually how they attack, so that might definitely be something to draw 
from. And essentially, there really isn't too much to be getting on with here. I just really want to kind of see them give skeletons that aren't used for a Elder Dragon classified monster and give it that Elder Dragon pass and do something out there and just fantastical with it. Like Amatsu, it's the perfect example. They took Leviathans, which are, you know, sea creatures, going through the water, very athletic, almost beautiful in their movements, fast and fluid, and they went, well, imagine we take that, but instead it flies through the air. So it's still a leviathan, but now it controls the storm, controls the winds, has this majestic look. We'll make it an elder dragon and make it one hell of a fight. That's really, really cool. They could have that thought process with Brute Wyvern, with one of the insects, with a fanged beast, perhaps. Have something that outranks a Rajang with that skeleton. That would be an interesting little twist. But even something like this, this bloody Kula Yaku concept, and really, here, he is much less da -da -da, I like finding eggs, and more I like finding eggs, but mainly I like removing the life from this unborn baby. And, you know, that's definitely a tonal shift there, but imagine something like a pack monster ending up with the Elder Dragon classification. You have the lead Raptory Bird Wyvern. You make it, well, for a Raptory Bird Wyvern, silly strong, but uniquely about this one is is that the younger versions of it are very much equivalent to large monster strength. So, like the Gormagala isn't an elder and the Shagaru is, the little version of this monster isn't technically an elder dragon, only the drome the leader is, but when you fight them, every single member of that pack is fearsome and a difficult challenge, so that the swarm together is that natural disaster, almost a monster that acts as a locust swarm. They plague through the lands, overwhelming everything with numbers and devouring it, maybe like an ant colony that works together to dismantle everything because a swarm of ants kills and, well, rips apart creatures that absolutely are orders of magnitude larger than each individual member, but collectively they are nigh unstoppable to most things because you just can't fight a swarm of ants. So I would love the idea of a swarming-based monster that's multiple entities working together uh, that are, well, collectively classified as an elder dragon because they're that dangerous. And that's what you can do with the Elder Dragon tag. You can really go out there and just kind of almost have fun with it in a terrifying way. So that's what I want to see. That's what I wanted to bring up. I thought that would be quite fun. It's really the only thing I could think of when I saw a goddamn Devil Joe cousin with wings. Let me know what you guys think, of course. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I'll see you very soon. Oh, good. Why? Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.